Police say just before 1 p.m., a man walked into the Holocaust Museum in Washington and immediately began firing with a long rifle. Security guards fired back. I saw the security man pull out his gun. He fired some rounds. I saw another man go down towards the floor. He was bleeding, and I, I really wasn't sure. After that, I just ran back inside. We heard like five rounds all together, and we were just scared and waiting for instructions just to see what we would do. Maria Hernandez was visiting the museum with her grandparents. Some remained calm. But other people were running, hitting the floor. We were scared, just shaking, just trying to see what was going on. Another visitor heard four shots. It was really quick. I heard four boom, 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 boom. And, and nobody at the time really knew what it was. And then I saw these three kids running my way. And you could see the look in their face that something was really, really wrong. Law enforcement officials tell the Associated Press that this man is being investigated as the prime suspect in the shooting. These images are from James Von Brunn's website. He's described as an elderly white supremacist. Police described the shooter as a lone gunman. We had no prior information. There was no prior threats of this nature to, of, about this incident. Uh, so it appears to be a lone gunman who entered uh, into the museum uh, and opened fire with a what appears to be a, a rifle at this point. The guard was later pronounced dead. D.C.'s mayor says the gunman is listed in critical condition. In 1983, Von Braun was convicted of attempting to kidnap members of the Federal Reserve Board. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.